And hello everyone, Shiftfell here, and today we're gonna be playing some Rogue Genesia. Um, getting straight into it, I still need to do F rank for the survival mode. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. Thunderstaff right off the bat. <laughs> we're gonna go for the ones that I know are a little busted. Um... I'm not going to focus too much on it being just strictly magic or not. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how far we get. Oh, recursion. Okay, well, I don't... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Taking the uh, heroic or legendary upgrades immediately right off the bat. Um, okay, here's another good one, God's Wrath. I'm starting to feel that right about this second. Due to the Taco Bell, just kidding. Um, analysis, we'll take that. Yeah, so I've been I've been kind of on and off for the last few days. Uh, my my whole like sleep cycle has been changed and has an insomniac. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of difficult to get it back on a pattern. Uh, yeah, so. I'm still working through that, but I'm dedicated to at least trying to keep my commitment of one video per weekday, and that's pretty much where I'm going to stand on this. Um, Alright, so I made it to level 4 so far. Things are starting to pick up a little bit. Uh, let's get into... Ooh, okay, so I can go two different ways here. I can go through weak point and increase my critical damage. Yeah, I think that's going to be the play. Lower my attack speed, but I like aiming as well, but weak point just seems better for me now. I try not to re-roll things too much, especially in the beginning. Like, there, there's no real necessity to roll in things just yet. Um, Stone-handed, I absolutely love this. Um, the question is, is, is this going to terminate me? You get an additional three projectiles. I like slippery skin as well, but we're going stone-handed because I'm greedy um, <laughs> for the damage. Now, once I start getting the like projectile speed uh, multipliers and stuff, that's gonna that's just gonna be insane. No, it'll be fine, fine. Uh, I'm gonna go area because if I can grab uh, both the rings, I can just kind of walk through things. Everything will be fine ish. Ow. Again, I, I say ow as if I'm in physical pain. Um, I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's just move on from the nonsense. Okay, magic wand. Uh, is it's not bad. Yeah. I'll take magic wand just so I can have another weapon. Recursion is pretty fun and it's heroic. Might as well take it. Okay, we could do recursion again or we can get... Uh, ooh, I don't know if I like that trade-off. Hmm... Trade-off trade -off hurts a little bit. I like having a lot of projectiles. I, I like having my attack speed really high, but I also love having as many projectiles as the game will legally allow me. Uh, let's go Magic Wand here. Need to be leveling up my weapons. Yeah, we're doing okay-ish now. Okay, this this straight up hurts our damage multiplier. Um, but it gives us more attack speed. It's an epic. If I get this once, it'll take it out of the pool. I mean, alternatively, I could also banish it. I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. it, it it's gonna it's gonna balance this out. I just need a quicker projectile speed. Let's go area. Yeah, that, that kind of balanced us out. Let's go magic wand again. 
I'm gonna start going defensive uh, once I get my damage where I want it. In the millions. Um, okay, we're gonna go Ice Spirit just because I like the combo between Ice Spirit and Fire Spirit. Ice Spirit doesn't really help me out that much now, but yeah. I kind of wish this game. Um, I don't. I don't particularly know if it does or not, but it doesn't seem like it does. I kind of wish that you could combine weapons and stuff for like cooler visual effects or like combine them passives. Um, I can get the last one of recursion. Now my damage multiplier is straight back where it needs to be. Thunder Staff, easy choice. Don't even really need to think about that too much. Uh, we are at the 3 minute mark. I think this goes to 20 minutes if I remember correctly. Get that attack speed up. Yeah, I want I want projectile speed upgrades. If I see them, uh, I will immediately grab them. Um, let's get attack speed again. Now the, the unfortunate thing is uh, that little death ring, um, the aura ring. I don't think uh, benefits from attack speed or anything else like that, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and grab Still Skin, uh, just because it's there, and I already have Magic Wand, so like I'll definitely be seeing upgrades for that in the future. Um, again, like, let's go ahead and grab Still Skin, uh, get that out of the A item draw. I'm not going to call anything yet. I, I have a bad habit of being like, and we win the game and then immediately proceed to die. So we're going to get this projectile speed upgrade. I'm going to turn into a buzzsaw. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll find the death, death aura ring. This isn't scripted, so... <laughs> oh darn. <laughs> Sometimes when I say it, I get it. Alright, impenetrable. I'm gonna have to start tank it, tanking up. It's better to tank up early, that way you don't regret it later, is what I've learned. I'm getting slightly better at these uh, Vampire Survivors-like games. I, I've even been like playing the ones on the sofa too, so like I, I'm getting somewhat better. All right, so 70 to 50 percent capped. Is this talking about my projectile lifetime? Okay, I don't care about my projectile lifetime. I just want that speed. So let's see if that helped me out a bit. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're turning into a bit of a buzzsaw. Because with the Thunder Staff, it's not really even about the lifetime uh, of the projectiles. After a certain point, they kind of just stay up indefinitely anyways, um, if I remember correctly. If I could get me Fire Spirit, um, I, I, I'm already in the clear. I think that does uh, percentage-based damage. Okay, that lifetime kind of hurts, but... but It'll, it'll be worth it, maybe. I mean, having a buzzsaw is really fun in this game. In any Vampire Survivors-like game. Uh, I think uh, in Vampire Survivors, it's like the Holy Bible. Um, it's all the same, though. It's a very fast spinning projectiles that circle around you. Um, let's get the... I'm gonna go for analysis. Sometimes I forget that I can, uh, dash. I just remembered, so... There you have it. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Oh! We are almost at level 7 of this. Um, projectile speed even further beyond. And almost gone. Yeah, melted. Get out of here. 
Fully heal, uh, fully heal on level up or taken damage increases your movement speed. Honestly, Wind's Ring seems better for me. I, I wish I would have gotten like damage oriented one or something like that. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, analysis, we'll take it. I'm waiting for the rings. I, I, I'm trying to be a little greedy on my weapons here. Um, that's a bow. No, I'm I'm gonna try and continue to be a little a little greedy. Um, I'm gonna re-roll. Uh, we could go student. Let's go magic one for now. I, we're not really that far in the levels just yet. Projectile size could be fun. Another projectile. Um, sure, why not? Let's compromise. I, I, I know my damage is suffering now, but... M more projectiles means more damage uh, for me. Um, okay, so we, we really are capped for a projectile lifetime. We're going slippery skin. Okay, let's follow the, the circle. Uh, we're going to take magic wand again. And we're going to follow this circle. It's a pretty big circle, but... It's fine. So far. At least until they start shooting projectiles at us. And then it's all, all game over. Like, it's all downhill from there. Uh, I see I see that there's a void um, a void up there I'm gonna try and do my best to remember where it is castle okay yeah castle is huge there's a void right there get all of that juicy experience um Oddly enough, I kind of want to just go projectile size now and get my buzzsaw, like, bigger. The, the bigger, better, badder. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, I thought that once I had the last level of the staff, um, these projectiles would kind of stay up there. Uh, it doesn't really seem like that's what's happening, though. Okay, we are absolutely battering these guys, though. Yeah, they are absolutely getting hit. Maybe uh, some more projectile speed wouldn't hurt us. Um, impenetrable or... Damage mitigation happens before defense. Um... Straight damage mitigation. You know, I, I take this. Arguably more more balanced. Alright. I don't have my death ring. Uh I've been greedy for it. <laughs> I don't I don't see it happening yet. Maybe. It's a, it's only ten minutes in. We're we're only almost halfway there. Alright, let's Let's not give up too too quickly. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with slippery skin. I also forget that I can just select it with E instead of having to like click on it every time. <laughs> okay, so we've got these projectiles uh, flying at us now. From I'm trying to like see the actual skin or uh, character that does it. So the dude's wearing mask. But yeah, as long as I follow the uh, big circle strat, I think I'll be alright for now. Um, well, we go, we go with the shrink here. Alright, time to duck and weave projectiles as one does. Uh, 
I've been slowed. So there's this weird effect where it feels like either I'm being slowed or my computer's just lagging. It's uh, one, one way or the other. It can't be both, I don't think. Uh, I'm gonna go magic wand. I want the ones that are closest to me to feel the full wrath of, you know, multiple projectiles to the face from the wand. Alright, let's see how fast I can take on this elite. Um, not as fast as I thought. Yeah, to an extent, that's a little worrying. Maybe, maybe I really do need fire spirit. My, I, I'm tanky enough at least. Maybe a little bit more regeneration couldn't hurt me. Yeah, my damage is suffering. Couldn't possibly understand why. Um... <laughs> Yeah, let's see how much damage per hit I'm doing. I'm doing a lot of damage per hit. We're not in the millions of damage or anything crazy, but... I don't know. If I get this one, it's going to hinder us a bit. Well, at least for now. I guess I'll get the last one for Slippery Skin. We won't see that um, as an option anymore. You know, for the few seconds that the... Uh, <laughs> The death buzzsaw circle is up, we're fine. It's just whenever it disappears is when it's unfortunate for us. Oh, okay, so this slightly stronger entity is being terminated, but oh, oh, it's that time. Okay, yeah, I don't know if this is going to be a successful run. I'm going to try and push. Yeah, I, I don't know where I messed up here. Um, probably, it was probably where I capped my um, projectile life. That, that's, that's where I messed up. <laughs> oh well. If I get, if I, if I can assemble the right build here, I think we'll still be fine. Uh, kunai? No, I'm not interested. I know that I need more weapons, but I'm not interested in kunai. If I can get katana, I'm actually oddly more interested in grabbing katana. Yeah, um, we're in trouble if we don't find fire spirit. Fire spirit would save us, and uh, maybe the flame or death ring could help us out quite a bit right now. Those are the two that would save us. <laughs> sort of. Ooh, let's get out of that. That was a nightmare. I haven't forgot about this mushroom. It's just really hard getting to him. Fire ring. Okay, yep, that might save us a bit. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't one shot, unfortunately. Alright, let's follow the trail. Maybe if I can level up the flame ring um, a lot, I like, it'd have to be almost every other spin. If I'm lucky, I can get a fourth weapon. <laughs> That's why I was trying to be somewhat greedy with him. Oh, big boss mushroom dude looked like he was running after me. Damage, uh, mitigation. I'm gonna reroll again. Um, attack speed. This could save us. If we can get our attack speed up uh, a lot, that could save us. Okay, I have a new strategy. Attack speed, attack speed, attack speed. Anything that can give me attack speed. Absolutely, I will take it. Because if I can, uh, if I can cycle the death staff enough to keep it up and running, I should be somewhat safer. <laughs> still, it's still in a pretty bad situation, though. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, looking at all of these like mini bosses, whatever you want to call them, that are still just roaming around, I'm kind of in trouble. Um, 
Honestly, I want movement speed. I, I, I will take movement speed. Just so I don't have to waste dashes trying to keep up with the trail. I'm trying to, like, also kite the inner circle here as I'm doing this. It's it's becoming increasingly difficult, as one would expect. Um, this, will, this will be fine. We're, we're almost 15 minutes in. I'm, I'm impressed with myself coming back to the game after a while. Um, <laughs> just keep it rolling. Um, little mushroom dude is still alive. I need the one upgrade that's just going to absolutely save this run. I don't know what upgrade we're going to get that saves the run yet. But we need it, like, now. Weak point. More critical damage. No. That would have been great. Um. Let's go ahead and banish one. Okay, uh, fire ring is there. Yeah, we'll take that. I didn't know that banish one automatically rerolled, too. I, I would have been using my banishes a lot more often had I known that. Oh well, <laughs> we're, we're, we're figuring this out. Oh, uh, we're already on Big Boss? What happened to Mushroom Dude? Okay, Mushroom Dude is still here, so there's still a chance that I can get lucky. Uh, we're, we're in trouble, though. We're, we're definitely not, like, in happy hunkadori hands at the moment. Right now I'm playing the game of survival. I'm just going to try and survive the annoyance of this boss. And uh, maybe I'll have a shot. Depending on what I can get out of this mushroom lad. Right now the game is paused at 15 minutes. Uh, until I can beat this boss. I guess now's as good as time as any to see the range on that. Oh, the range is quite a bit, but not infinite. Oh, nope, it might be infinite. It was just a troll that was going to follow me. Alright, um... Sacred Sword reduces bosses and elites health by 30%. I think it might be too late for that. Regain 1.5% of... I'm going to get Cursed Belt. Let's see how much damage I take from just a, a normal hit. Okay. We're, yeah, we're, we're not hurting that bad anymore. As far as uh, survivability goes, we're not hurting too terribly bad anymore. Um, I still wish that I had uh, Fire Spirit. Uh, just trying to walk. That's actually pretty dangerous what I just did, too. I could have ended the run right there. <laughs> just trying to walk around that particular ability. He speeds up that ability as it uh, progressively gets closer. At least my projectile speed is very fast. So like, essentially this is a buzz saw. It's just not doing as much damage to him as I'd like. Or anything for that matter. Um, as long as I'm close to him, my wand can pop off on him quite a bit. That, that's really what I'm trying to use is the wand alongside the buzz saw. Continue to walk. Uh, we had to dash there. We had to dash there. Keeping a very close eye on where that beam is. Unfortunately, we do have to stand pretty close for him for a wand to pop off on him. But when it does hit him, it, it, it does hit him. Like, for a bit. I'm not going to sit here and like try to pause, the, pause my video. Uh, because honestly, I don't think I can. But... <laughs> Uh, what, what happens if I do this? Alright, so we might actually be able to see how much damage the uh, wand does. Oh, actually, I just saw it. it. It looks like it does about 21 damage per hit. That's not fantastic, I'm gonna admit. Uh, <laughs> it's not like we're doing broken damage or anything. I'm just surviving by sheer will at this point. <laughs> like, I'm not dying because you can't kill me. <laughs> because you can't hit me, rather. Yeah, so, I can see that it was definitely beneficial to go the tanky route. That, that's probably what's saving us right now, is we're just tanky. 
Well, I don't care how long it takes, we will be successful. <laughs> oh, oh, he's doing this. Or she, I'm gender neutral. It could just be a really weird goblin lady. Um, who knows? Okay, that did not work out the way I wanted it to. I thought that they lined up uh, perfectly with my thunder staff ability. And I was just going to get to sit there and watch them all, like, evaporate. But no, that did, that did not happen the way as intended. Okay, this is not over. Um, yeesh. Gives me one free reroll. That could actually be very useful. But no, uh, I'm a little bit more greedy than that. This would be really nice, too. Tainted and normal rarity soul cards are 75% less likely to appear. I kind of like this one. This is an easy go-to. Um, as is this. Holy Cross is good, too. I'm torn. Uh, let's flip a coin. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll the dice on this one here. Odds... Uh, Odds, I'll pick Holy Cross. Evens, I'll pick Gikomelsh's Ring. Let's roll the D20. And we've got a 6. So, uh, Evens is Gilgamesh's Ring. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to put my lovely dice back up. Gilgamesh's Ring. Alright, well, let's upgrade our, our stuffs then. Um... Hopefully uh, now I get the chance at the Death Aura as my fourth weapon. And then we're set uh, for pretty much a good standstill build. Well, until they start firing projectiles at us, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, okay, yeah, we're in, we're in danger. Um, knockback. We will take knockback when we see it. That'll that'll save us a bit. Um, and we need more attack speed. If I see attack speed, I need to start grabbing it, regardless of like how much it actually is. Once I get to a certain threshold of attack speed, I think we'll be very very uh, safe. Uh, here's the last one for our celerity. Um, almost, almost gets us to that point. So we just need a few more. I'm going to jump through all of this because I'm trying to collect all of this juicy experience. All right, we're, we're doing fine. Uh, well, I'm not going to say it. I always jinx myself. Everything looks like it's looking up. And then the minute I actually say it, it just everything goes to hell. So... <laughs> Yeah, uh, things look fine for now, ish. Uh, I'm gonna put an ish in there, and maybe ish will save me. Um. Okay, so we're gonna increase the area. That's maxed out. I'm really hoping for the aura ring. It's gonna look cool too. So like I've got the uh, hovering thing on the ground and I really like how they uh, put some semi 3D graphics to this like uh, a 2.5D kind of thing um, because you can clearly see that the thunder staff has the projectiles flight and flying above the ground that's like clearly noticeable um, but you see the fire ring is something that's uh, like on the ground level so they have the they have uh, the little tile there at the uh, player's feet and it's just a nice little touch in my opinion it, it kind of looks off so like it, it kind of like quirks with my little bit of OCD here but uh, it's small attention to detail there um, I, I kind of like that stuff all right God's wrath more damage uh, uh, we could do more damage I'm gonna go more damage. We're gonna get our damage numbers up. That way, they're suffering more when they get smacked. Um, wish we were leveling up faster. Maybe, maybe it's time. If we see um, an experience book or whatever, we're gonna take the experience. 
We need to be leveling up a little bit faster than this. We're at that threshold. I, I still I still want flame spirit and I still want more attack speed. Those those are really the only two things that I care about right now. I don't think I'm gonna get the uh, death aura ring, and even if I did, I don't think I'm gonna get it leveled up, unfortunately. Because again, I think this ends at 20 minutes. It either ends at 20 minutes or 30 minutes. I can't imagine it carrying on for 30 minutes though. Uh, we're gonna do firing. I can't say for sure that I know because you know I'm still doing F rank. I'm still doing like the beginner newbie baby stuff. So I don't know if it carries past 20 minutes or not. Can't imagine that it does. We will see. Um. Oh, things are actually getting heated up. I, I'm going to go ahead with the assumption that it would end at 20 minutes if I could survive. But um, unfortunately, I don't think my build's capable of surviving this. Yeah, things are, things are going to get way too hectic. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if this is going to be the run. I'm going to really, really try and p force this, though. Turtle, okay. Banish Clumsy. So this removes my movement speed and my attack speed, but it gives me more defense. I can't take this. We're going to do a rarity reroll. Yes! And that just instantly saved our run. <laughs> uh, well, for bosses anyways. For the smaller ones, that doesn't. it's not going to show as much. But for the big boys, for the big boys, that'll help us out a lot. Still assuming that we survive this. Remembering that we are tanky and we do have 1% health regen uh, every second. Or like 1.5% health regen every second. Which is a lot of regen. Uh, oh, oh boy. Um... I'm not I'm not lowering this down anymore. Let's do a Actually, let's do a banish. We're going to banish this. Uh, okay, this is just straight up more defense. Let's Let's go with it actually. I'm going to go with it. It wasn't like something too insanely awesome, but it, it's defense. I guess Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Let, let's see how many times we can light them on fire <laughs> with our buzzsaw. Oh, the wave is dying down. That is very good news for us. All right, we're gonna we're gonna circle around him uh, and just buzzsaw him as many times as possible. I wish uh, I wish that there was a counter for how many stacks of the flame uh, I put on him. Because the flame stacks in this game. Yeah, we we are melting through his health bar though. That that's definitely flame spirit helping us out there. What do we get? Take a damage increases your damage. Yes, this is absolutely a need. Increases soul gem experience. Okay, both of these are super great. Um, both of these are super great. I think it might actually go to thirty minutes. Um. Oh, this is such a hard choice. Okay, again, we're, we're going to have to roll the dice. Let the dice decide. Alright, uh, odds left, right, right. Or, yeah, even right. Yeah, mirror. 18, so that is a magnifying crystal. Letting the, letting the dice decide. Because both of these are really great. I enjoy both of them. This is just going to help us get a few more levels in. Which honestly, ar arguably could save us. And I was talking about getting a book earlier. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to just dodge straight through. Uh, attack speed up. I'm gonna make the call and say that I I want more attack speed. Uh, uh, unfortunately, that was the call that I had to make. If there's a chance I get more projectiles, by all means, but we need to get our attack speed up to have the 
buzzsaw up and running. We just lost we just lost a tooth on our buzzsaw, it's fine. For now. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to use trade off a few more times too just to get this up and running right. Okay, yeah, we are almost there. Yeah, we're we're about we're about there. It's it's cycling pretty good. Okay, maybe trade off is um pretty balanced for this. Maybe we maybe we max out trade off. Because if we can if we can get our attack speed high enough, we could have like two or three of these rings out. And then it's just a even better buzzsaw at that point. Magic wand is maxed. We won't see that anymore. Yeah, our buzzsaw is going to be better with faster attack speed. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we're going to suffer if we sit there and try to take on those. Oh, we are going to suffer. Okay, let's... um. Okay, new strategy... If I see one of the big guys, we're just going to dodge directly away from them. Oh. Almost got got. Clumsy, an additional projectile, lower to fit. Oh my god. I really want this. <laughs> the lower defense is going to hurt. I really, 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 really want this though. Um, I'm going to go with impenetrable. We need more defense right now. Clumsy isn't out of the item pool. We, there's still a chance to find clumsy in the future. Oh, we're in trouble. We, we lost our dashes. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that was, that was borderline pretty close. Oh, dude, I'm fighting the wave here. Um, we need more more speed or more defense? Probably more speed. I'm using my dashes too much, which is uh, indicative that I, I I need more speed. I'm hoping that I use the word indicative right. It, it seems appropriate. Um, hopefully I use the right word right. Banish all critical related cards. Yuck. I, I love my criticals. Um, yeah, I love my criticals too much. We're going to go with this. I'm going to level up that flame ring. The attack speed on my flame ring is pretty high right now, too. That That's going to... If I can get it doing enough damage, it'd pop off. Yeah, the flame ring is over here taking snapshots of the entire, like, enemy force. I mean, if you look at the radius or the, uh circumference um of the flame ring it's pretty ridiculous right now it's only going to get uh expanded more upon as i level it up to that that's something to keep in mind let's see if i can cover the screen with it um hopefully i can get two more flame ring levels before ultimately dying here I'm really trying to thread the needle um, as far as the trail goes. Okay, Flame Ring is being upgraded even further beyond. Oh boy. It only has one more level to it. Okay, yeah. I, I, I lost the trail there for a second. We we need more uh, movement speed. That that's That's what we need right now. At least I have all of these dash charges or whatever. Oh, 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 that, that's it, that's it, that's it. We got we got overcrowded by these skelly, skelly boys again, unfortunately. Oh well, we'll take a look in the soul shop. We'll see what we can buy. And maybe we'll be a slightly stronger uh, agent of chaos in the next run. Base damage multiplier. Uh, let's see. What's a fun one to get? Um, XP multiplier. I, I, I do like leveling up faster, so I'll take one of those. Uh, well, obviously, increased damage is the way to go. Smacking them for as much damage as feasible is great. Um...
Hmm. Well, let's max that out. All right. If you like what you see, drop a subscribe. That really helps me out. I'm a small, very, very small, poor lad. Um, so dropping a subscribe would help. Uh, if I do make it to a thousand subscribers, maybe I'll do a face reveal. I'm still going to continue being a VTuber after that. But, like, I'll probably do, like, a little face shot. That way people, like, know who's behind the mask, right? And, um, yeah, I'll see everyone in the next run. Uh, have a nice day.